What's up, Mentorship Maniacs? It's the Daily Dose. Dropping some bombs. Mentorship motivator. Daily motivation. Got my two freak friends with me. Say hello. Hi. We're just Fridays. I go to I go to do my work out in the field after I get my workout in. First, I work out in the morning. I mean, I get my work early morning. Wake up early. Get my work done at the home office. Go out to the gym, and then go work off-site out in the field at a Starbucks or whatever. So I'm going to do that. They're off school. They're going to come out me to Starbucks, which is in the Barnes & Noble. They're going to do a little reading and then probably go to a movie or something. So can't beat that shit for a Friday as your day Friday. Can't beat it. Can't freaking beat it. This is why we do what we do the way we do it. This is the mentor Mentorship Motivator. Daily Motivation. The Mentorship Maniacs. How do you like that? I didn't say Mentorship Freaks today. Today, we're talking about selling yourself. No, not on the street corner to make an extra buck. We're not talking about that. We're talking about, and we talk about the first, the most important sale you need to make is this, the selling yourself in your head, right? We've talked about that in the past. We also, obviously, you need to sell yourself to prospects and leads to, to close freaking deals. What we're talking about today is the often overlooked sale that you need to make of selling yourself to your team. And no matter where you are in the company or organization, most likely you're probably the owner or whatever, but these... These videos we do every day is not just for you, it's for you to think about and have topics and ideas to talk about with your team or your audience or whatever you want. So think about this. When you think you don't have you don't have any video content, there's unlimited amount of content you could have for videos. So you can use this to talk about your team for Monday email, whatever. But you need to sell yourself to your team. So no matter where someone is in your organization and you yourself need to sell yourself as their leader. You need to sell yourself up the chain of command, down the chain of command, to the left, to the right, to your peers, to your subordinates, to your superiors, your bosses, your leaders. You need to be sell yourself in every direction to every person. You need to be able to influence them, persuade them, if you want to say convince them, whatever you want to talk about, as their leader. That's what you need to sell them on. Sell them as being your leader, as someone worth following, someone that they should follow. You need to sell them on different tasks that you need to get done, things you want done that are going to move the business forward and move the needle and how are you going to sell those tasks by explaining why it needs to get done the way it needs to get done, get, having deadlines on it and selling them on this stuff. Why is there a deadline? Why does it need to get done? What impact is going to have on us? What impact is going to have on them personally? If it does get done, if it doesn't get done, it's all selling. So all the same tactics we use to sell our product and our services to clients and to to prospects, the same thing. You need to sell yourself to your fucking team. They need to buy in. It's their job to implement new tasks and stuff, right? But and then a lot of times you'll be you'll be wondering. I've told them ten times. They're so stupid. They're such an idiot. They're so dumb. They don't pay attention. Why did they not do this? I told them so many times. Well, you know what? They didn't buy into it completely, and it's your fault. Don't blame them. It's for your fault for one, one of two reasons. Either one. You didn't communicate it properly to them and sell them on it and explain to them why it needs to get done and the importance of it and the priority of it. That was one. Or B, B, you didn't, you let them last too long with not living up to your standards and expectations. So either way, it's your fault if you told someone 10 times and didn't get something done. Either because you didn't tell them right or teach them right or communicate it correctly or explain why it needs to get done to get them to buy in completely and get them to want to do it. Or B, you just let them stay too long in your company or organization when they shouldn't. They're not living up to the high standards and expectations because you know you did your due diligence. So either way, it's your fault. Either way, you didn't sell it good enough. If the job didn't get done, you didn't sell yourself. You didn't sell the, the task or the job if it didn't get implemented. So don't blame them. Don't talk about they're just so stupid and, and it's a legit lazy generation. All that stuff may be true. When it comes down to it, it's you. We know that shit. We know that shit. If, if it's not... If you, didn't, if you didn't explain why it needs to get done, how it's going to impact them personally, why are we doing it exactly this way, the way we're doing it, how we're doing it, when we're doing it, when we're doing it, by explain that stuff clearly, quickly, don't waste a lot of time on it, but quickly and clearly, concise, clear communication, they're not going to buy into it. They're not going to get it done. They're just not. You need to sell them on yourself and help them and sell them by helping them, sell them by uplifting them, sell them by asking them a lot of questions, selling, not tearing them down, not just telling them all the shit they're doing wrong. And that's the only time you get on the phone with them is when you have something negative to tell them. That's not selling them. That's fucking smashing someone. That's smashing someone. So think about it. You need to uplift them, lead them to success, sell them on how you're going to help them get to that next level. The same way you sell your prospects, the same way you sell leads. That's what you need to do. Think about it. And this is this, we, everything we talk about 
in, in this group, you can apply this to any area of life, in any context in your life, with your family, with your friends, with you, with your freaking kids. You need, you're always selling everything. You need to sell yourself to your team, to your kids, to whoever. You, it's all selling. You want to sell. I'm selling them on why they need, why they're going to come with me for three hours to go sit in a Starbucks while I work. I'm going to sell them on that and whatever I need to do, why it's important, how it's going to help the family, how it's going to help them, how it's going to make them smarter. And then how we're also going to happen to stop over at a Lego store and then maybe go to a movie afterwards. So it's, it's selling them. What are the, what are the benefits and why does it need to get done this way? And why do I need this time? Why do I need to go work outside of the house once a week? It's all selling. Sell yourself to your team. Sell yourself to the freaking people around you. Sell your family on why they need to come to your house over for Thanksgiving or whatever the hell just passed. Something just passed. I don't even know what. Valentine's Day. What? Valentine's Day. That's right. Just passed. Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, Halloween. What's the difference, right? Were you drinking a protein shake back there? Is it good? At least it's a holiday. How many grams of protein in that protein shake? Anyway, everything in life is selling. So how are you going to sell this? The same way you sell your product and service. By changing the tonality of your voice, your body language, being empathetic, having empathy, being motivating, being confident and confident and clear in your communication. By the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you sound, the way you smell, the way you move, the way you act, your facial expressions. That's going to sell them. That's going to sell your team because you're not bullshitting. You're authentic. You're fucking real. You can't manufacture that stuff. You're going to sell them on you, on being a leader, someone who's worthy of them following someone who it's going to help them better their life by following you. That's what your team needs to be, think, be thinking about. I have a saying that I, I use that I, I made up and use that you can never be a great leader until you're a great, until you're a great follower to a great leader. So think about that. They also need to see you as being a great follower and that's how they're going to respect you as their leader. Cause you, sometimes you need to follow them. You're up there in the in the skyscraper. Sometimes you need to jump down into the street and do some street sweeping and ask them, jump in there when they need some help and say, I'm here to help. What can I do to help? Let me know what you need me to do. And let them direct you. Let them lead, be leadable and go do what the fuck needs to be done. And I'm saying just once in a while, a lot of times that you should be doing that strategically, actually scheduling that and playing that. Sounds weird, but that's what you should be doing. Like, think about it. You, you make everything so efficient in your business so that you can become inefficient, right? You get everything lined up. Say you're, 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 you're stocking shelves. We talk about this all the time. We, we just talked about it on the thing to call even a couple weeks ago or even yesterday. You, you're stocking shelves for so long. Eventually, you stop stocking shelves. You delegate that so you don't have to stock shelves anymore so that you can schedule a time where you come in to jump down to the weeds and start sweeping the streets intentionally because that's how you sell people on you being a leader by willing to jump in and do some of the heavy lifting once in a while be willing to get some dirt under your fingernails once in a while strategically when it fits your schedule when you can or when they absolutely need it they're going to realize that they're going to recognize that stuff they're going to appreciate it and they're going to be sold on that that you are someone worth following you're someone that really has a best interest in mind so sell yourself first you need to do all this stuff to sell your programs, to sell your processes and systems you have. You need to sell them on being their freaking leader. This is the mentorship motivator, the mentorship maniacs. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. Hey, freak shows. Want to add anything? No! Excuses! Stop blocking her face. Do it again. I saw you lifting your head to try and block her out with your big ass dome. Go again. What do you want to tell them? No excuses! Very normal kids. Very, very normal kids. I can't imagine where they get it from. No excuses.